Yo, what is going on guys? It's Leddy, yo, welcome to So Serious Gaming and yo, Strikers is so much fun to use man, it really is a lot of fun to use. Most of this this video, the clips in this video, are based around me going up against this four man team. Um, they tried jumping me at the DZ5 checkpoint using fire bullets, shot turret, sticky bomb, you name it man, I, they were trying it, but they were going down as much as I was going down, so... You know, it was pretty much a case of how well that sticky bomb hurt me or how well they managed to hit me when the shock turret caught me and things like that. Or putting me on fire and just I just couldn't do anything, I was screwed. But it was a fun night, man. It was a really fun night. So this has kind of just been thrown together with some strikers pieces I had laying around. It's not perfect, but it is still it's still a viable build and it still does a lot of damage. The shotgun and the MP7 that I use with it are the same shotgun and the same MP7 that I use on my various different builds that you've seen. Um, I just like those guns, I like the talents that I've got on them. I mean, okay, the MP7 I would prefer to have st sustained, changed out for either, either fierce, maybe brutal, something like that. But... I'll take it. It's got responsive and deadly on it, so I'm not I'm not going to complain either way. And it does. It's got a good damage output on it. You will see in a second. I've kind of gone different to what you would generally see with a lot of people's builds. As you know, like general rule of thumb is sort of savage gloves or a reckless chest piece, and you know skill power on your mask, skill power on your backpack, things like that and you know crit chance crit damage smg damage or shotgun damage on on your gloves i've kind of switched it around a little bit and you'll see why in a minute what so on on for? the vest as always rolls with armor i got some exotic damage resilience which i believe was helping me survive the sticky bomb a little bit more than i would have done if i didn't have that edr so mm -hmm. that was helpful now as you can see on the mask i rolled for crit chance as opposed to skill power and there's a very good reason for that. Because I'm running the specialized backpack, I get 15% of my firearms and stamina added to my skill power. So that allows me to put crit chance onto the mask. And putting crit chance on the mask, you will see in a second what that allows me to do with my gloves. On the knee pads, I would love to get crit damage. But I had to roll the electronics for the stamina, so I'm stuck with health there, but that's cool. I'll take it for now. It works. Now, the, the holster I got really lucky with, it came with armor already on it. It came with 658 on the firearms, I believe it was, so I rolled that and I got 757, 755 on stamina. The skill power could be higher, but... You know, I'm not going to complain either way. Now, the gloves, usually you see people crit chance, crit damage, SMG damage. I've got SMG damage, I've got pistol damage, and I've got health on kill. Now, in an ideal world, I would have crit damage, SMG damage, and then either shotgun damage or the health on kill. And ideally, a better firearms roll on that. But it works for now. The health on kill is actually really nice. So, if I get another set that allows me to do it, I will probably go with SMG damage. Um, crit damage and health on kill because the health on kill was actually really nice. It, it, it helped me survive a couple of times when I took one of them down, as you saw in that first clip. And then we specialised, as I say, the talent on it is add 15% of firearms and stamina to skill power, and it's come with skill power rolled on it. And then it's got pulse crit damage, pulse crit chance, which helps my pulse. And I always run pulse, especially being a solo player. And even in my team, I always run pulse. On my Alpha Bridge build, I can get my pulse crit damage to just over 90%, so I can get it pretty high. On this, I believe it's, I think it's 33% crit chance and 70, 70 something percent crit damage. I actually can't remember the number that it is. Um, but yeah, it's seriously a lot of fun. Like I say, there is improvements to be made. I do want a better MP7. I just haven't got anything close to as good as the one that I currently have. And I only really want to change the last talent on it. I just want sustained changing for something that helps me to deal more damage. That is all I really want to change. But even sustained is helpful because that is basically health on kill as long as I'm using that gun to, to get the kill. So, 
it's still really helpful so I'm not going to complain now I get a good heal and I get a, I've got a good pulse as you could see there so the crit chance isn't really necessarily needed on the mask you could go with skill power on the mask and I think you can get crit damage on the backpack but because my crit damage is already pretty decent anyway and I want to get crit damage on the knee pads it kind of made sense for me to go with crit chance on the mask because then it works out with what I want to go with so most of the night I was I was running solo so I was pretty much 4v1 and you'll see there that sticky bomb just screwed me up it screwed me up big time and I come back out I'll cut it out because it's obviously it's long winded the loading screens and stuff but I, I come back in and they have a bad time they they didn't they didn't like it too much I don't think so like this guy goes down I take another guy down the third guy he just runs back he actually ran back to the checkpoint and waited for his teammates to come out which was which seemed to be the thing that they enjoyed doing a hell of a lot was as soon as you whittled their team down the last person a couple of times there'd be two of them they would just turn and just just run like this guy's got his ult popped and he's gone he just ran back to his teammates and yeah I, I got destroyed I'm not gonna lie but then this guy turned up at some at one point through the night um, and he actually went rogue on them after they they came back because I think he was getting a little bit pissed off with them as well so I started trying to body block um, make them go rogue keep him alive and in the end I actually ended up going rogue and killing them and once his timer ran out I invited him to the team then my timer ran out and these guys came back went rogue on us killed us and then we come back out and yeah we killed them so it was a fun night man in fact the only time that they actually survived you will see after this clip just before I end the video I posted a screenshot up of how my night ended and basically in order to, order to survive their rogue slash well, sorry three of them were rogue one was on manhunt was to glitch into the wall in the extraction which is the only way that they actually managed to survive a full rogue slash manhunt run so yeah it was it was a little bit pathetic now most of this was shotgun as you can see but the SMG does work as you can see right there I do want again like I say I want to improve on the build and the SM get the SMG doing a little bit more damage with like crit chance uh, crit damage and it maybe even base damage as well by improving sort of firearms rolls things like that but yeah that about wraps it up guys if you enjoyed the video then please hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and drop a comment below telling me what you think and yeah have a great day guys I'll see you in another video peace out